Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with Psalms chapter 7, or Psalm 7, whichever. I talked about that a little bit last episode. It could be chapter, could be Psalm 7, whichever and whatever. So I'll just go alternate back and forth between the two. You know, look at the first two verses here. Psalm of David, or a meditation of David. O Lord my God, in you I put my trust. Save me from all those who persecute me, and deliver me, lest they tear me like a lion, rending me in pieces while there is none to deliver. Now this, let me just read the preface. to. A lot of the Psalms have like a little thing before the first verse. And this one says, A meditation of David, which he sang to the Lord concerning the words of Cush, a Benjamite. I don't remember off the top of my head who Cush was. But apparently uh, this guy pose some kind of threat to David. At least that would be my guess based on the verse. God, um, David asking God for deliverance. God asking, or I'm sorry, David asking God. Makes, makes that up twice in a row. Yay me. Asking the Lord, you know, deliver me. I don't want to be torn in pieces. And I, you know, and I don't want to be rended into pieces um, while there's no one to deliver me. I need help. I need help. I can't do this on my own. David was a mighty warrior. He was the general of Saul's army. I don't, again, I don't know at what time or at what point this took place, but the man had incredible battle prowess. And even before he, way before he was the general or even a part of Saul's army, he took out Goliath. His first military act was taking out Goliath. That's amazing. The dude had some strong that, my English is so on par tonight, isn't it? He had some great strong in him, was. And <laughs> despite that, despite that, or I, maybe I should say because of this, he had that strength. He knew he needed the Lord's help. He knew he couldn't do it on his own. He didn't rely on just himself. He didn't rely on just his strength. He relied on the Lord. Despite his strength being one of his main well, strengths! Again, English is on par tonight! Despite that, he knew he needed the Lord for help. It is possible that the reason he was so strong and was so amazing is simply because the Lord gave him that strength. That could very well be the case. Mm. The reason that we know of his strength and know how strong he was is because of the great things he did. And maybe he wasn't naturally strong. Maybe he was more like me, kind of a, a skinny mini. But he was able to fight amazingly well because he had the Lord on his side. I think there was a. I think the Lord aided him. My personal opinion, since he was taking care of um the, his um father's flocks out in the fields before he slew Goliath. Apparently, he had taken care of several wild animals with his sling. Not taking away any glory from God, but there was some natural skill there. There was some natural strength. I don't think it was just a supernatural miracle every time he went out to battle and won. Did the Lord have his back? Yes. Was David also skilled in um in in fighting? I believe he was. I don't think it was just, you know, some guy who didn't know how to fight, and each time he went out to fight, oh, somehow he won anyway. I think he knew how to fight. I think he had the knack. I think he had that ability. But despite that, you see, if you if you believe as I do that he, yeah, he was probably a pretty strong guy. Probably not a guy you'd want to cross swords with, just on his own. If you believe that like I do, then all the more impressive that despite that being his strength. He still depended on the Lord to be his strength, to be his, to be his right hand, and to be his sword hand in battle, so to speak. It's pretty, um, it's pretty amazing that even in his strength, he didn't depend on himself. He depended on God. If you don't believe, if you think every battle was a miracle, then you wouldn't arrive at that conclusion. But I think, I think there's enough, uh, I think there's enough evidence scripturally, like I talked about earlier with him taking care of the flocks, taking care of wild animals and defending his sheep. Again, not taking away glory from God, just acknowledging there was a natural talent there. But despite that natural talent, he didn't depend on himself. Just like, you know, a, like some scientist or some genius, not depending on themselves, but asking God for help in their research. Um, some or I guess contemporarily a strong man, someone who like fight, you know, does professional boxing or professional wrestling or okay, that's mostly acting. More like professional professional fighting. 
any kind of martial art. And instead of acknowledging their own power and their own strength, they're like, God, I need your help. I need you to be the one to help me. I see David as that kind of man. And that's a great reminder to me that even in the areas where I think I'm really good and really strong, video games, does that count? <laughs> Since that's the other half of my channel? Even there, I have to admit, I prayed to God for victory in several video games. Feel free to laugh at me. Not sure if God heard those prayers, but you know what? I ended up winning quite a few of those, uh, quite a few of those boss battles, as it turns out. Not all, but a good number of them. So, natural talent there, but depending on the Lord, depending on the Lord, even in the middle of my strength. That was a kind of a silly way to conclude, but it was my own example, so figured I'd throw it in there. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.